Hey, hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? I took last week off, that's something I've been planning on doing for a while and I just hadn't felt right about uploading again without talking about what's going on. Seems socially irresponsible to me. That's just me, it's just the way my brain works. With the pandemic, it was a little bit different. I was conflicted in the beginning about the videos because I was like, well, I don't want to make light of the situation. But the reality is I know a lot of people come around the channel for some relief and some distraction. But I personally don't feel that what's going on right now is something that I should be offering distraction from. This is an important time to be listening and paying attention. I think that for a lot of people on YouTube, especially in the gardening realm, there's a generally an effort to avoid controversy. Thing is though, Black Lives Matter. That's not something that should be controversial. It's not something that should upset people. It's not something that should be having people jumping all over the place saying all lives matter. That's not okay. This is a time where it is appropriate for us to, by us I mean white people, to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Conversations need to be happening. Our ears need to be open. Our eyes need to be open. We need to be listening. This is an important time to be vocal and to be willing to have those conversations with people. If you're around a group of people and you're hearing some stuff people shouldn't be saying, we need to call each other out on it. I have some excellent books over here if anybody's looking for some readings for some further understandings if i had to pick one book out of this entire pile that i think is just fantastic it's this one i the majority of people know about microaggressions but this is the in-depth guide to really breaking it down the various types of microaggressions where they come from why they happen and how they impact various groups of people and uh, it's honestly just a really good read for helping to open the mind a little bit, helping to gain some perspective. Some of these are textbooks that might not be as interesting to people if you're not involved in social work or psychology, but I mean, they're still good reads and helpful. These two books right here, Rage of a Privileged Class is a fantastic book, and Black Picket Fences, also a wonderful book. Both of these focus more on the uh, perspective of uh, black people who are in middle class and what's that's like for them in the workplace, in society. I mean, it says, it says, it's right here, privilege and peril among the black middle class. A fantastic read if, again, looking to gain some perspective. Or there are some understandings of what's going on, you know, in the plant videos, I always talk about the why behind everything and this is no different if people are feeling confused or they're somehow new to racism this isn't new what's going on is not new i i have come to understand over the last few weeks that there are a lot of people saying they weren't aware of these problems so these are really good reads. Again, some of them more for people who work in professional social work and counseling, but like this book right here, even if you don't work in psychology, really good read because it goes through various situations one might find them in and it talks a lot about privilege. Privilege that we don't see, white privilege, and how that can affect people around us and being able to check your privilege. There's also a really good book that I don't have here with me called White Fragility. Someone messaged me about that on Instagram. I just remember I need to get back to them. That's a really good read. There's another fantastic book called Why Are All the Black Kids Sitting Together in the Cafeteria? Very good book. I'll be putting links to uh, charities and organizations down in the description of the video. And uh, I ask that anybody who has any resources to offer, any uh, perspectives to offer that might be helpful as far as furthering the uh, movement, furthering progression, to put those down in the comments. I will just say I prefer to keep things in a place where everybody is welcome. However, I will not have the debate with the All Lives Matter. I'm done. That's, that's done. If that's something you want to say, then I think that it would be best to really look deep inside yourself, think about what's going on there, why you feel compelled to say those things right now. I don't buy that the majority of people who are saying that are saying it without racist intents. 
sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. There's no reason to be doing that. Because like I said, Black Lives Matter, not controversial, not up for debate. Moving forward, I will be more conscious, more aware at all times of checking myself, my privilege, using that to help people who need it and uh, recognizing and calling out the racism, the uh, injustice, the inequality that's happening around me. And I will be perfectly fine and comfortable with being uncomfortable. No, y'all are here for the plants and the pets, but right now, it's just, that this is so much more important. So that's where I stand with everything. I mean, it's just, it's just the tip of the iceberg of where I stand with everything. Diversity and inclusiveness, those are beautiful things. It's something that I feel is really important to strive for more of. Taking to Twitter and Instagram is a step. It's a great way to spread information. It's also, you know, sort of the minimum that we can do as far as activism goes. This is something where for there to be real impactful change, need to walk the walk. It, everything that we're saying and doing needs to apply to everyday life. Like I said, I'll be holding myself accountable, those around me. Black people should not have to teach their children how to behave when they're pulled over so that they don't become harmed by a police officer. Black children should not be in situations where in schools they're left to be ignored, demonized by teachers who aren't trained properly, who are shallow and aren't paying attention to what's really going on. No parent should have to worry about the life of their child or their loved ones based solely off of stereotypes and prejudice and bigotry. It's not right, it's not okay. I'm well aware that I will probably lose some subscribers over this and there will be some people who are upset and you know, I really, I don't care. I'm fine with that. Goodbye. Less racist on the platform or watching my videos. That's fine. Goodbye. George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, Michael Brown, Trayvon Martin. The list of people who are being harmed and murdered. It's, it's the list is too long. It keeps growing. And I am so sorry. I am so sorry to everyone who has been pinned down, who has been oppressed, who has been put into situations where no matter what you do, you just cannot win because of the way society has been set up, because of racial inequality, because of injustice, because of prejudice, and the bigotry, and hatefulness, and just evil that runs through people's hearts. It's not right it's not okay to those out there who don't like what's happening and don't want to be on board with a positive change i have to ask what's wrong what's wrong with having equal opportunities what's wrong with making sure that people feel safe what is wrong with making sure that people have similar sentences if they commit a crime what's wrong with making sure that people feel safe around the people who are supposed to protect them and serve them. What's wrong with acknowledging simple things like a black person who maybe holds a similar job position as you do probably had to work a lot harder to get there, probably isn't getting paid as well as you are, probably has to maintain their behavior in a much more specific way than you do in order to be treated equally and still probably will not be treated equally. There's no harm in this change. It's only good. It only benefits everybody, all of us. Like I said, actions speak louder than words. I have links down in the description, as I mentioned, to charities, organizations, and resources on how to be a better ally. Hope everybody keeps talking about what's going on, keeps trying to make an effort to inspire, to put a spotlight on injustice and cruelty and inequality, and uh, that this isn't something that fizzles out and fades. That can't happen. Let's not let that happen. We all got to play our part here. Black Lives Matter. I hope everybody's doing well, having some internal reflection and uh, hopefully some personal growth. And uh, hopefully that will reach out into society socially and we can uh, continue to grow together and make a better world for everyone. And of course, keep on growing. Never stop growing.